weekdays by your first race at regular price and each of your additional races are half price. Here we go. Eight laps up on the board as we go to Resorta Midwest Modified Racing. Car number 16, Lushinsky trying to work his way through. Battling with Lance Ralph in the Extreme Performance Automotive 54. One down, seven to go. 20 car is on the move. That is Nick Adet looking real smooth out here. Kuwait and Truck Service Red Dot 44 trying to close the gap. The 88 is third, fourth is the 16. Grand Hall in the total looks 4H. All the way up from eighth spot already. He is now fifth. Five laps remaining, three down, five to go. Dynamic machine here at Landscaping 88, pressuring the 44 now. That is Austin Hunter. Heads up! The 44 car almost into the billboards of the back straightaway. Right. We're getting ready to go back to racing. The Speed World Midwest modifies with five to go. Green flag. What? 20 car in a great big hurry. 16 of Lushinsky starting to close the gap. He started fifth in the Pepsi number 16. Keep your eyes on the total works 4H of Grand Hall out of Brandon. He is now fourth. Nick Adet simply flying out here. He started on the pole, but nobody within striking distance of the Murray number 20 out of St. Adolph. Arden Financial 16 is second. That is Brennan Lushinsky. Third is the 44. That is Austin Hunter. Grant Hall now looking underneath as they battle for the third and fourth spot here in your Resort of Midwest Modified Division. 30 cars in the pit area. One to go for Nick Adet. So four heats of Resorta Midwest Modifieds here tonight. Plus a B-Main. Lots of racing action set to come your way here tonight as Austin Hunter and Grant Hall continue to battle. Your leader will take the checkered flag. A nice drive for Nick Adet. Lushinsky second. It looks like the 44, then the 4, then the 54, then the 33. 54 is Lance Moore. We're getting uh, warmed up and ready to go racing. The green's in the air. Here we go. Great race for the third spot. Bailey Cousins in the 7B and the 77 of McCoggin. Battle it out for the third spot. Bailey Cousins takes the spot, but here comes McCoggin, the 77X and the McCoggin Builders entry. Boychuk is at fifth watching this and waiting for his opportunity to pounce and move into a point average transfer spot. Well, 
Well, the field is kind of strung out at the halfway mark. Four down and four to go. Your leader continues to roll, Brandon Rehill. The 17 of Anthony or Christopher Leak is its second spot. And looks to be closing in ever so slightly, but with three laps to go, he's got a lot of real estate to cover. I'm not sure he can get it done from there. Whoa, Bailey Cousins hangs the right rear tire off the back straightaway onto the pit road. Two laps remain, and it doesn't look like there's going to be much of a position change here. Checkered flag flies, Brandon Rehill in the four car. Uh, starts outside the front row and gets the win. Christopher Leak started third, he gets second. The seven of Bailey Cousins started fourth and got third. So the top two qualifiers, the 4B of Brandon Rehill. Green flag is out. Jason Sormack rolls around turn number one and two. Look at the battle, the 55 and the three now doing battle for the second spot. Murray Cozy Trucking, Beaver Truck Setter 55 appears to have the advantage. And here comes Skeeter. to go the three of Jason Sormack out of West St. Paul continues to lead. Skeeter Rusty out of Kelly Lake, Minnesota trying to close the gap up. 55 car in third. The 88 car is fourth. And the Palmers 37X is on the move in the second spot and he has traction on the bottom of the racetrack. Side by side with Sormack. Somac closes the door. The number three, sponsored by Aegis Auto Glass, gives up a little too much, and Skeeter goes on by. Murray Cozy in the 55 started third, and is currently third, as he tries to get traction out of turn number two and close the gap up on second place Jason Somac. The E3 is Ethan Friesen. He started fourth, is now fourth. Great battle between the 55 and the three of Sermak now. Flat tire on the 13T. No end in the right rear. Well, it looks like the 37X of Skeeter Esty was slowing. And he is slowing. Or do we have a yellow? There's no yellow on the racetrack. Everybody's slowing. But there's no yellow. Well, they're back up to speed now, even though there was not a yellow flag. Checkered flag for Skeeter Esty. Aegis Autoglass 3 of Solmak second, then Murray Cozy, the E3 of Friesen, and the 8 of Dell. All right, we're lined up and ready to go green for Speed World Indoor Kart Track. Here we go.
ahead and exchange towards the back of the field. Dan Klim in the white 38 has got his sights set on Chris Audette. Chris Audette drives that orange 27. Here comes Victoria Stutsky in that good looking 24. Inside, her boy almost gets the pass on the 38 car, Dan Klim. Oh boy. Oh boy. Chris Audet gives up this first spot, gets back to second, but he's got a hot company on his back bumper, Victoria Stutsky. Stutsky making a move on the inside of the 27 car. Whoa, slides up into him, but doesn't alter anyone's course. The 38 is Dan Klim and Victoria Stutsky is on a mission. There's four laps down and four to go. She started fourth. She's currently second and has her sights set on the leader heading into turn three. The only lady competing with us in the Risotto Modified Midwest Modified class is Victoria Stutsky in the St. Andrews towing number 24. What a race for second place. The 38 of Klim, the 27 of Audette battled it out for that number two spot. With two laps to go, remember the top two get their point average spot for the feature. Top five go straight to the A main and do not run the B feature. White flag for your leader, Victoria Stutsky. Racing for that final track. Oh boy, the 38 of Klim slips off the back straightaway. That changes things. The winner comes out of turn four. How about it for Victoria Stutsky? Now look at this race shuffle. The 27 is Audette in second spot. Klim at third. Ted Dell at fourth, and I believe the top four make the main event. Here we go. Let's see who that four are going to be. Green is in the air. We're back underway for Maserati Alfa Romeo of Winnipeg. out there in that 88 car. If you're Paul Verde right now, what side do you pass on? They're hitting him on both sides. Austin Overwater is your leader and Paul Verde is stuck back there behind a rolling traffic jam. Oh, he's sliding a little. Sean Roy making a play for the number two spot. Austin Overwater leads, oh my goodness. Green, top four, make it into the main event. Let's see who it's gonna be. 10 to go. Uh-oh, Austin Overwater off the back straightaway. 
back on the racetrack, gives up the second spot, moves to third. Here comes Paul Veer trying to get around that cluster of cars. Oh, look at that nice move. What the? We're getting ready to go green for nine laps. Top four make the main event. The rest will watch. Paul Veard passed a car and the guy he was passing didn't hit him. Hang on, he's not done yet. Just a minute. We've been asked to remind you folks that the grandstand is a non-smoking area. If you must smoke and you're intent on killing yourself, then please do it on the gravel walkway behind the judge's tent. we got a race for third place. Paul Beard slips into third spot. I think at this point, it's just a matter of... Okay, we're yellow. We're yellow. Oh, brother. We're going. We're going green for two laps. Let's hope. is leading this one. 28 car at, at second spot. Paul Veert has been to war and back, but he's got up to the third spot. Midwest Modified Feature. 15 laps on the AIE Communications Board. And here we go. Nick Adet from the pool takes the lead here. Nick won his heat race today. Skeeter Esty in the 37X is third. Peter Esty is the Midwest Modified National Defending Champion. Seventeen car Christopher Lake out of St. Genevieve, Manitoba, putting pressure on your leader, the 20 of Nicodette. And Stetsky, fourth and fifth on the racetrack right now. Team sticks a fender in on the 20 car, but unable to make the pass. As Skeeter on the inside, out of turn four, tries to get underneath the Berwick Service 17 car of week. Racing for second and third. Bottom of run, yellow flag. One and two, yellow flag. Getting set to pick up the throttle. Lots of very fast Resort of Midwest Modifieds behind them, and we are racing once again. Here we go. side of Adet, great drag race into turn three and four. Adet trying to hold that 20 car down. Esty with a good bite off turn four.
turn number four. Skeeter Esty moves to the inside and now the outside into the lead. Dropping the 20 of Nicodette to second spot. Seven laps to go now. Nicodette now has his work cut out for him as he tries to chase down the reigning national champion in the Rosetta Midwest Modified Division. Spinner at the bottom of turn number four. That is Lance Ralph in the... All right, getting set to go here. Not a great start for the 20 of Nicodet. And he will have to battle his way back. Victoria Stutsky on the inside takes over the third spot. The 20 drops to fourth. Greenhill fifth. Look at the traffic in three and four. Wow. PFC Brakes Turk Enterprises, St. Andrews Towing, number 24, challenging now for the second spot. X continues to pull away from the pack. The native of Kelly Lake, Minnesota, and reigning Rosetta modified BMOD national champion. second place. Victoria Stutsky in the 24 inside on Christopher Leak. The door to door and turn four Leak with the advantage running a little higher on the racetrack. The white flag is in the air for Skeeter Esty. One lap to go and boy Victoria Stutsky is getting after that second place 17. Christopher Leak is second in the white 17 but keep an eye on that 24. There's your winner. How about a big hand for Skeeter Esty? Second spot goes to the 17 of Christopher Leak.